Before explaining how Unreal works, how to use this interface, I wanted to let you know how the project structure is, well, a structure. So let's open the folder. If you remember where your folder of the project was created, then open it. If not, you can go to the content drawer, right click on content and just click on show in Explorer. This will take you to the content folder of your project. Here in the content folder, you will find everything that you are adding to your project or that has been added to your project by either some plugin or a marketplace asset. We can go to the root folder, which is this one. And as you can see, this is the path of the overall project. And inside of it, you will find the .u project. If you're not able to see this and you're in Windows, you can put it, click on view, show and file name extensions. The U project is very important because it stores the information about the version of this project. When you create a version, for example, 5.7, you cannot go back because all the assets will be saved to that version. And earlier versions of your, of your engine won't recognize because the engine is constantly evolving. But the other way, if you want to upgrade your project, uh, that's fine. That's what usually happens when a new version releases and you test your project to get the new features and the new upgrades that come, usually comes with better performance. This is just a text file. You can open it by right clicking and just modifying it, maybe notepad, and you will see the overall information that this project has. All the plugins that are loading. And if for whatever reason, whenever you launch your project, because you do launch your project by double clicking this, and you see that you don't have a plugin because maybe you downloaded a project from the internet that is using a plugin, you can enter here and just set it to false. Also, if Unreal is correctly installed, you will be able to right click on the U project. And then if you click on show more options, you will get these other options. Launch game, generate Visual Studio project files for projects that are using C++, and you can switch the Unreal Engine version. Again, it will be a really bad idea if I choose a earlier version, but if I do want to upgrade my engine version in this project, then this would be or one of the ways that I could probably do this. So again, we have this new project, it's very important. This content folder that is also very important, as we said here, there will be all the things that are added to your pro project, meshes, code, everything, textures. And we also have the config folder that has certain configurations for the game, for the engine, for the input. So those three things are the most important folders. If we were doing a project with C++, you will find another folder called source that are also very important. It holds all the files done in C++ so we can actually build and release our project. These other three folders, I could even delete them. They will get auto-generated when I launch my project. So if you want to share your project, then you do want to delete this because they will get auto-generated again when the project is launched in another machine. In the save folder, you will find things like logs, shader debug info, configurations, temporal configurations, some collections. And if you take screenshots inside the engine, then they will appear here also. Also, if you want to save some parts of the progress of your game in a text file or not, yeah, a text format that gets converted to a binary asset, you will also find it here. So yeah, it is very important that if you want to share this project, you just need to zip these three. And if we had a source folder, you need to also get that. And if you don't want to zip it like that, you can go to file and then you can click on zip project. 
This will zip your project for you and only add the necessary folders and files that you need in order for you to run this project in another machine.